It is April 7th, 2023. I'm at the Georgia Southern University's Armstrong campus. This is where they have their three camera, three planted common pawpaws, a semina triloba. There's three that are planted and then there's a bunch of suckers coming up that they keep chopping off, unfortunately. So we put circles of pine cones around the suckers that were up when we were here last. So I had an uh, observation video earlier about small flower pawpaws, how to tell them apart from common pawpaws, and I mentioned the texture on the leaves and how small flowers have smoother leaves. So here is the follow-up for the common pawpaw so you can see the difference. If you look at that video, and then look at this leaf, this one isn't even fully grown yet, it's about the size of my hand, but you can see just from looking at the leaf, in between each vein, the leaf has a kind of a bubbly texture. So once these get even older, it'll become even more pronounced. With younger leaves, it's harder to tell the two apart because they're always super wrinkly like this when they start out because they kind of unfold like a fan or an accordion or something. But with enough practice, you can tell common pawpaw leaves from small flower ones just by looking at them. So that's it for the leaves and then we'll see the flowers. Here is a green flower and a red flower that seems like it's, yeah. Now this is falling off. Oh, okay. That whole thing came off. So that one did not get pollinated. Some of these other ones though, should have been. Oh, we got some winter ants in here. Can't really, yep, there they are. Did I just, yep, I got one on me. Here you go, you can go back on the branch. Yep, the, the branch is right here. Unlike fire ants, these guys are not mean. Well, no, fire ants aren't mean. They are defensive. Come on, the stick is right there, bro. I'm trying to get it. Go back on the stick. Yeah, okay, it managed it. So, anyways, we're looking at the flowers. We got a mature one there and a flower bud that's just starting to open. This is tree number three as I'm calling them. Tree number one is over there and then two's back there and then this one's number three. This one took the longest for the flowers to open. Ooh, and it seems like it was just biding its time because as soon as the flowers started opening, they all started maturing really fast. But there's a cluster of three or four fruits up there. Not sure how well they showed up, so clearly this is a successful strategy. I'll go back here and look at tree number two. And here you can see the suckers. And I have a bunch of videos about pawpaws and their reproduction and why they form suckers, so I'm not going to repeat all that now. So this one got some flowers still. We got fruit here. This one's got little baby fruits forming. Ooh, we got a big carpenter ant here. I think this is a Florida carpenter ant. They look just like the winter ants, but they're a lot like three times the size. So these guys are actually helping to pollinate these pawpaws. We got some fruit here because pawpaws are not pollinated by bees. Giant truck just went past, so. Pawpaws are not pollinated by bees. They're pollinated by beetles and other stuff like that, and ants. So you can see them in there. So this one's got, yeah, heck yeah. Two fruits here forming. Some more up here and here. <laughs> These ones here didn't get pollinated because you can see there's nothing stuck to them. It's just the base of the flower. So those will probably fall off at some point. 
Oh, heck yeah. Cluster of three right here. And uh, I think there's, there's one right there. Uh, not sure if I can see any up top. If it's higher than I can reach, then it's just up to nature. Here's two right here. You can see them against the sky. All right, and now we'll go look at tree number one, which is up here. Yep, we are successful. We got this cluster right here. Come on, camera. So that's like five fruits there. We got one right there, two right there, three right here, one here, that's a leaf. Another cluster right here. Try to take off the petals. Two here. A lot right there. And then up at the top there, there's a cluster of like five. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can kind of see it. And then this one does still have some flowers. Uh, and this one's got fruit form in the center. But there's still ants on there, so I'll leave that alone. I think this was one of the, f I can't remember now. This might have been the first one to open flowers. But yeah, we got pawpaws growing. I'm not sure how many of these fruits will actually reach maturity. Because I'm not sure the people who planted these trees here did much research because this is a very dry area and common pawpaws like lots of water. It would have been better if they planted them down that way where there's a little creek. So I think these guys could do with a lot more water and they'd be a lot more happy. But I guess we'll find out. Alright, so that's it. Bye bye.